wealth is leverage. That is the ability to have experience. All right, we're going you down to the beach. Controlled or generated. What do I mean? Well, you are wealthy. You live in a country where there is abundance around you all the time, and you own it just for living here. I mean, you own the public highways. Oh, it's you don't have to tide pay too. For Very nice. Across the country. You own many of these government buildings. You can go in. They're yours. You can uh, use them anytime you want. You can go into a public library and get access to any book that's ever been written virtually, and it costs you nothing. Think about it. Leverage in your life is everywhere. Everybody, you hold have on. To go out and actually create your breakfast. Nor did you have to hunt down your dinner? These things have been done for you. you. Say, well, yes, I paid for them. Yeah, that's true. And it wasn't on your back that the salt came out of mines, so that you could put it on your food. You are truly wealthy. The level of abundance that you and I experience every single day, no matter how much money we earn, compared to the rest of the world, is absolutely absurd. And yet we walk around feeling like we have lack. And see, like attracts like. Whatever you right, we're driving along the, the water. basis in your mind is exactly what you experience in your life. So the first key to becoming wealthy is to understand that you already are. Now, wanting to expand that, I believe that's healthy. You know, some people say, well, is it really right to make money? I mean, if you've got a lot, is it right? I think i got to put in four high. Intelligent. Is it right for Hold you on to a continue second. to want to expand and become smarter? Is it right, if you're already close to your husband or wife, to want to deepen that relationship even more? Is it right for you to want your children to have even more, to be happier, to be stronger, to have better relationships? Is that right? Is it right, no matter how close you feel to your creator, to want that bond to be even stronger and to strive for it? Is that right? I've got a question for you. If you could have more in your life, if you could have more, then should you? All right, here we go. If there are things you could do that create greater abundance in any area of your life, then should you? And my answer to you is absolutely. You guys want to see this in regular color? Then, I guess on the way back we'll do that. I thought, gosh, if I have so much abundance and other people don't, there's something wrong there. That's unfair. Listen, every single oh, one sand's of really soft over here. We're equal gotta get going. We're not equal in our decisions. Isn't it four wheel drive? We're not equal in our education. Hold on. We're not equal on how much we demand from each other or from ourselves. We're not equal in our motivation. We can choose to be, but most of us are not. Now, I know there's the argument that, hey, I grew up in the South Bronx. I grew up in a difficult part of town. Well, I didn't have a role model I can certainly appreciate that 100%. All right. I really do believe Gotta get that many start. people in our society that don't seem to start out with the same level of resources. No doubt about it. So my approach to that is... going. Well, I really care about people that are less well, I'm almost going in the water. My strategy was the best way to do that rock. Well, that's not exactly the most intelligent approach. Instead, what I decided to do was realize that no matter what someone's resources were, I didn't have any either. I didn't have any great role models. I didn't grow up wealthy, not even middle class. And yet I was able to make the things work because I pursued them. And no matter where I've looked in the country, no matter how horrible the environment, there are a few people from that environment that somehow. It looks like the tide's coming up. So why did these people make it in spite of all the odds? The answer was not necessarily more talent or more ability, but that they were able to get access to their talent. Uh oh. Because they had beliefs. End of the road. Should we go in the water? Oh. In these areas, including oh. I'm in the that's water. What it comes down to. Your finances will not change Whoa. until your core beliefs change. <laughs> Trying to turn around financial sabotage simply by working harder, by the way, will not work. The roads. The reason is you'll work harder. Not uh... Your beliefs like this rubber band. Push, 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 stretch yourself You up. fell there. Make some progress, and right when you get to a certain point Hold of threshold, whammo, the All rubber right. band snaps you right back to where you were. Let's go up. I mean, haven't you experienced this Away sometime? from the water. The See, only how do way we to get break there? through is get rid of the rubber bands. Expand your picture of your life financially so that what's happening is you're Gotta on a road. A, uh, the road you're always building and it's always there. expanding. In addition, you must believe that by building your road, what you're also on. doing is creating a way for others to travel to their dreams as well simultaneously. So since it starts with our own beliefs, we have to remind ourselves what beliefs are. Beliefs are nothing but a feeling of certainty about what something means. So again, if you've got limiting beliefs, it just means you've got beliefs. You have a feeling I'm of certainty. I'm on the beach. I get out of here. Four or five miles to the gallon. All right, we're going to go over to the, away from the water. Hold on. Yeah, you can get by in an 
whoa, 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 is to link pain to the thing we want to change. In other words, link our own minds that if I don't change this belief system, it's I guess cost this lesson you so really can't hear too well with the motor, so. so. Bad, but your brain says, I'll put oh, on some music. Get rid of that belief. And then